Hey guys, hi and welcome to the video. In this video, we are going to take a look at AWS Step Function Distributed Map. This is something they have released this reInvent 2022. Let's read a little bit theory followed by a small lab. So let's get started with the video. Step function, uh, step functions map state executes the same processing steps for multiple entries in a data set. The existing map state is limit up to 40 parallel iteration at a time. This limits makes it challenging to scale data processing workloads to process thousands of items or even more in parallel. The new distributed map state allows you to write step functions to coordinate large scale parallel workloads within your serverless application. You can now iterate over millions of objects such as logs, images, or CSV files stored in S3. The new distributed map state can launch up to 10,000 parallel workloads to process your data. Uh, we're gonna talk, we're gonna see this in the, in the lab, but just gonna read that. You can use the maximum concurrency feature uh, of the distributed map to ensure that you do not exceed uh, the concurrency of downstream service. So this basically means that if you in an account, usually the account cap is about 1000 lambdas, right? So you might want to put a cap of like maybe 500 or 600 so that other application who are using lambda, you don't throttle them, right? So essentially that, but again, that quotas could easily be increased by contacting support, as I said. Um, so let's take a look at a um, couple of uh, difference from the previous map. And uh, the one that I want to show is this one. Uh, now you can pass millions of items to the multiple child execution with concurrency up to 10,000 execution at a time. Before that it was 40. Accepts only JSON arrays and input. Now with this feature you can accept Amazon S3 object list, JSON, uh, JSON array or file, CSV, S3 inventory, etc, etc. Payload size was limited to 256 kilobyte. But now you can receive a reference to a file in S3 or read a single record from a file in a state input and the actual file processing capabilities is limited by the lambda storage in the memory. 25,000 events, each iteration of the map state is a child execution with up to 25,000 events each. Um, again, express mode has no limit and on the execution history. All right, that makes sense. So let's take a look at a small demo, right? So uh, again, it, all the code and the stuff is there on my GitHub section. I actually have an entire playlist on step function. So right from zero to hero, uh, right? So this is gonna be part number nine. So lab number nine, okay? So, <coughs> So come to lab9.json and I'll essentially explain you the uh, the step function, what we're trying to do. So uh, actually it's very easy, right? So so here you can see the states. We define this as a map operator over here, right? So far so good, right? Uh, type as map, right? Uh, end as true, which means this is the last step. I don't have anything after that, okay? Um, then uh, label as map again this is just a label max concurrency you want to put this number to how many maximum fires you want in parallel again depending upon your account uh, usage quotas you can choose this number and now another item that you can do is you can do a micro batching so basically uh, you can batch items now so I'm saying uh, uh, one lambda is gonna receive two um, two do you know items there right and maximum you can fire up to thousand now here I'm taking a simple example. If you observe the data, I have an array inside uh, detail and shipped, right? So here, if you observe item path, I'm essentially providing the JSON, uh, the array, the path to the array, right? So hopefully this made sense, right? So dollar means JSON, dot detail means go inside the detail entity, dot shipped means this, right? So basically all the array over here. Uh, and then we have our uh, actual item processor where you know you can have various state. This is something that is new. So you observe on line number eight. Processor config mode as distributed, which means it's a distributed map. Execution type as standard, right? And here I'm basically invoking a simple lambda function. And if a lambda function fails, I have a retry. Um, and the parameter is basically dollar, which means it's gonna take a single JSON right here, right? So let's see this in action, okay? So I'm gonna come here, uh, again, this is the step function. You can essentially make one, again, by copy pasting the JSON here, right? So we'll click on start execution. And again, there's a Lambda function. All the Lambda function does is basically iterates over the payload. Since we have defined a batch size, it's gonna receive two items, right? So I just wanna quickly show you the logs. So 
as you can see the step function is complete and if I had to show you the logs quickly so now you can also batch the input records basically uh, that is what it says and I, I, I said two so uh, again depending upon your workload you can set the batch size uh, actually I'm not printing that so need to print that so give me one sec while I print and uh, do a print statement so need to go to the lambda function uh, and I'm going to go to the, this one and all I'm going to do is basically just add a print statement I'm going to print the event and I'm going to run the step function again Again, now you're not limited to just, you know, 40 uh, parallel um, execution. Now you can go way beyond that, right? So that is sort of the beauty. So now it's in the running state uh, and again, it's complete. So now if I head over to the CloudWatch to check the logs to show you that, you know, each Lambda will receive about two records since I defined, you know, the batch size as two, right? Uh, so now you could also do that previously. That was not possible, right? Uh, click here. Hopefully I see the print statement. And there you go guys here you can see so that's the first json document and then that's the second json document again so now it's basically being batch if you can see this i'm gonna zoom in a little bit here you can see it's an array of documents right so now essentially you can fire up to thousand ten thousand um, parallel execution you can use step functions for a data processing need right and you can also batch items right we'll see some demo maybe on how to iterate over s3 and you know process those data uh, using lambda function again uh, uh, again aws has very recently released that uh, all these functionality is very very new okay uh, again if you want you can also use the workflow so for example um come here you can use the map operator if you like using the drag and drop in gui uh, you can do that also right so here you can see that's the map operator and then uh, you can say a lambda function fill it, fill, then you, you just gotta fill out the details and that's pretty much it right uh so yeah here you can see that that's the new it will say new over here that is distributed right that's the one that you want to use again now you can you know as i said so if you observe here carefully process json files from s3 process csc file from s3 so these are the three new things they have recently added on the step function hope you can see this right so i just wanted to show you quickly uh, as you can see, oh, my, 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 my cursor here, right? These are the three new, three new items they have announced. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you have enjoyed. If you have any more questions, list your question. And the code for this is in the description section below. If needed, please check that out. Thank you so much. Keep smiling. Keep programming. See you guys in the next video.